After several weeks of competition here at the Winter Games, China hopes the venues will be used by its 300 million plus sports fans. To not only satisfy the needs for the Olympic Games, but also for you know long-term operation after the game. So we developed a template for venue to you know to developing their own uh, legacy plan, such as in terms of the uh, you know mm, the renovation plan after the games to ensure the smooth transition after the Olympic Games. During the Big Air competition, many took notice of the backdrop. The Big Air Shogang Park in western Beijing is next to a decommissioned steel factory, which was once a major polluter. But using the existing park as a venue shows China's efforts for sustainable development and its hope to bring winter sports to the people. When we just make decision making on Big Air here in Shogang, it's not only to host the, the competition here in Beijing, uh, I think its purpose is to really move, you know, the snow sports, the mountain sports into urban area to attract more, you know, people's attraction. Some of the venues could even turn into destinations year round. Uh, outdoor mountain programs, for example, like grass skiing, uh, hiking, climbing, uh, mountain cycling, etc. Uh, so, uh, to seeking for more, you know, multiple uh, function purpose and uh, transform the venue to the uh, tourist uh, destination also is a uh, non-snow uh, snow season. For all competition venue and uh, non-competition venue will have their own dedicated venue legacy plan that is seeking for, you know, long-term sustainable development of each one. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.